Angelo's quest to recover and reunite with Azriel finally came to an end. Well, this is my baby right here. He reunited with his daughter, and they immediately began to repair a strained father and daughter relationship. Azriel, at the time, seemed to still hold on to a resentment built on everything she had just gone through. I think we still have to address the elephant in the room. We haven't really taken that time, you know, to do so. It's, it's not about what the world thought it was about. It was about me getting relationships with my daughter, getting the understanding that she was good. Through all the back and forward, the talk, the media, everything, you got painted a picture. So what I needed was confirmation from my daughter. I understand that, and I respect that completely. <clears throat> but I feel like for me, where it was so hard for me and why I continue to not have communication with my family is because this Lifetime documentary stuff just happened within the last two years. And then out of nowhere, these last two years, you hear, oh my God, this is happening. Oh my God, that is happening. I just feel like, how can you be oblivious to the years that I was okay and just snap, oh my God, I need to know where my daughter's at. She's this, she's that. I need to make sure she's okay. Like I've been okay for three years prior. That's where I drew my line because at that point I was an adult. And at that point I felt like, I was okay. So to believe something like that, so extreme, so bizarre, so outrageous, I just couldn't even fathom my parents, my parents believing something as bizarre as that. I just really couldn't. <laughs> and that's fair. But what you got to understand is we haven't talked to you at the 16. That's when you graduated. That's when things went blank. It didn't go oh, blank, oh. but communication slowed down because at it, that point I it, was an adult. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It was never no black communication. I could show you text messages over and over. But that's but to him. To him, to your phones, to everybody's phone. And I was you guys. No, I, I, I have received on an Apple. I don't, I don't have an Apple phone. Too. I will call you guys. Don't pay no picture. Like, I have not talked to you guys in over a year because I would call you guys four or five months at a time. And yes. when I would call you guys, you guys would be yelling. You guys would be cursing me out. Mommy would be yelling at the top of her lungs. I don't and so enough. what I would do, I'd say, okay, I'm going to give you about four or five months. Yes. And then hopefully you just miss me so much that you just want to talk to me and your arms are open. And eventually it got to that. Unfortunately, it took a little bit longer than I anticipated. Yes. As a parent, mm -hmm. guess what if you did it for four or five months and we didn't hear from you? How do we know? Okay, so, so it's let not me, a Let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Before graduation, I was not even checking in every day then. Yeah, I was. I talked to you. You will be like, Dad, I'm busy. I'll call you back. It was no more. You wasn't talking, but you was texting. And if, uh, you, if you're free, you don't call me. Hey, Dad, what you doing? As but I didn't do it every day. Now, don't pay no we didn't, like we I didn't say every day. Every day. Now, maybe like once a week, once every two weeks or so. I didn't have to call you every day. I talked okay, to Okay, so why already. when I become 18, 19, 20, 21, I got to check in with y'all every day? Who, who, where do you get that from? <laughs> Your wife. This, yes. this is yes. what you don't understand. What? Your wife called me, my mother, saying... Oh, there's a lot of rumors going around. I need you to call me every single day. I need to hear your voice every day. I need you to check in with me every day. I said, first of all, I haven't been doing that for these first couple years. So now that I'm an adult, I'm definitely not about to check in with you every day. And that's what started it all. Because so of her what, pride and my pride. So what and did that adult, have to do with me? You're attached to her. That's, that's your wife. That's so, your wife. So I became the enemy. But you're the few Because when I would talk mother. to you, you would be young no, too. Because if you say your beef was with your mother, then you said, oh, I feel on. like it was with both of you guys because, like I said, both you and her, when I would call, it was nothing but argument. I was never present with you and your yeah. mother. So I was never present with you and your mother. That's why I never knew when you and your mother talked. What I did was found out when your mother told me she talked to you and y'all argued or whatever, and I would call you. And I and you would have that same attitude you and her left with towards me. 
Yes, I would. Okay, but I didn't have anything to do with that. So therefore, give me a chance to pick what side I'm going to be on, who's right and wrong. You came at me aggressive because of you and her. Uh, this is not, this is not it because I know your wife confines in you and I know she's going to explain it to you. Exactly. But she's not going to give me everything, evidently. Cause so I, as you can see, the elephant still needs to be addressed. Which, but, but this the, the, the thing. Which yes. will be addressed. But what I'm telling you is don't merge us like I never merged you. See, I could have been one of them parents that just felt victim. I made sure you stayed in certain right. Because was you miss? Yes. I know that how much you love your father. So for me not to talk to you for these terms and these times, it's a problem with me. I don't need to talk to you every day, but I need you to check in and let me know, hey, Dad, I'm fine. So when it comes to me having to track you and run and travel and do all this, it's a problem, man. Especially when I talk to your better half at that time. He make it seem like it's a game. And you ain't going to play games with me with my child. So the difference was with him, he wasn't dictating that to you. So that's where me and his war started. If he was I dictating it to you, that, you could have put it off by calling me saying, hey, Dad, it ain't like that, I'm good, this and that. I I'm going that. to be completely honest with you. Robert would ask me to call you guys, and no matter what city we were in, he would say, is this your father's number or is this your mother's number? And it would say, call me. And I would say, yes, that is my father's number. And he's like, you need to call him. And I would say, I'm not going to call him. Because at that point, the only thing I get is bickering every time I pick up the phone. So if I can avoid it, if I can enjoy myself in this nice little penthouse while we in New York for the weekend, I'm going to enjoy my weekend. It was so, very suffocating because I was an adult at the end of the day, period. And like I said, I'm not obligated to answer anyone. I know that you are my father and I love you dearly. But if I was a homeless person on the street right now with a cell phone, and I did not want to call you, I would have that right. Okay. Now, would it make it right? Probably not. But I'm obligated to that right if I don't want to. But me as your father, that's you what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to hunt every street, every corner, every curve, every bridge until I find you. Because I... I feel like I'm looking for hope. It's very hard. I've spent my last years with this man, so it's not something that I can just turn on and off it's devastating i feel like i'm a very intelligent smart bright 21 year old i am definitely young but i'm very mature in spirit and i just feel like you know anyone who thinks that i'm brainwashed and not you know smart enough to make my own decisions i just feel like that determines how you know their mentality that's not something i can control but i know that i'm very smart and I know that I'm intelligent, so. You know, Rob, our last conversation that I had with him in Chicago, you know, he inspired me and told me, Bear, just do what you want, do what makes you happy. He told me to continue to pursue my dreams, pursue whatever I want to pursue, and that's really all that I would be able to do. It feels like a high. I mean, it feels like, you know, you're in love, you're happy to be in love, and you feel like no matter what you go through with this person, it's worth going through because there's no other person you would want to go through this with. And that's with, you know, you being in love with whoever it is. You know, not just me and Rob personally, but that could be any other person's relationship. You just feel like no matter what, the good or the bad, you want to go through it with that person. I feel like, truthfully, all of the women that have been associated with Robert, I feel like this is me personally. Once they saw him, they saw him as a celebrity, not as a human being. They did not meet him at church. They didn't know him, know which way, except for as R. Kelly, whether they saw him at a mall, whether they saw him at a movie theater, whether they saw him as a, at a park, whether they saw him at a show. And so, <clears throat> no matter what, all of them met him as a celebrity. And they were infatuated with that celebrity. And because of that, I feel like a lot of them just dated him because of that. Because of who he was, because of the life that he had, because of the life that he could provide them. 
you know a lot of them talk about how badly they were tortured but can you talk about the shopping sprees can you talk about you keeping your hair and nails done can you talk about all the great times that you had dinner and was spending money and was splurging and was so happy because one thing about robert he has a very giving heart and there is no way at all whatsoever that he is a celebrity and he's not giving them a penny to enjoy themselves and that's where i get so upset because as a celebrity he has no reason to keep you kidnapped or keep you tied up he just has no reason to do that when he can allow you to move freely take care of you and still you know at the end of the day <clears throat> whatever will happen will happen you know so for people to just say that you know oh i was just kidnapped or i was tied up i couldn't leave i couldn't do this it's like what about the good times i know there were good times my deepest condolences is to chicago because after finding out 